It's Christmas. And a group of six-year-olds are putting on a special nativity play. Our artists are singing. This is the greatest story ever told, in their own words. I don't have any space. Go away, or I'll punch from the face. It's not in the script. <laughs> I'm the angel Nigel. <laughs> it's God's baby. You're not the dad. <laughs> We first met these children when they were four years old. I'm not listening to you. There was Skylar. Do I have to? Luke. Are you going to be my best friend? Jada. Do I look wonderful? Where's that mirror? Cuba. And Jessica. Stop bringing me, Richard. You're not the dad. OK. Now they're back with guest appearances from Taylor, Tia Me. and Theo and best friends Alfie and Emily. <laughs> we'll chart all the highs. Fantastic! <laughs> oh my goodness, Alfie, Alfie! And the lows. I don't want wings. I don't want to do But the show must go on. It's nearly Christmas, and nine six-year-olds are meeting up again. Hi, Jada. How are you? I've still got my baby teeth. All of them. Boo! <laughs> Skylar! 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 Yes! Yes! They'll be working together to stage a production of the Nativity and helping are three other playmates. We've got Caitlin. And Elvin and Eloisa. Now, these guys, are, they're old friends of mine, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. Looking after the children are teachers Ollie and Kate. This is our special Christmas week. And at the end of the week, we're going to be putting on our own Christmas nativity play. <laughs> But before they can take to the stage, the children will be writing their own version of the story. Who was the baby Jesus? Baby Jesus. I don't know. What was the angel called that visited Mary? Nigel. Who visited baby Jesus in the stable? Sheep, um, the three wise men, and a penguin. Do you know what shepherds do? Did they make his own? Which part do you think you'd like to be in the story of baby Jesus? Um, Jesus. Can you draw a present? A present? While they wait to audition for the show, Jessica, Skylar, Cuba and their playmates are drawing in the art corner. Draw an angel, OK, Skylar? OK. Cos Christmas is about Jesus. Jesus, he's unreal. It was just an old fairy tale. Yes, he is. No, he's he not. Cuba saying Jesus is My Jesus whole family is knows he's not. My whole family oh. knows he's oh, not. I go to a church every single Thursday. I never go to the church because I don't believe in, in Jesus. Jesus? Jesus. A fake fairy tale. Then why do you even celebrate it even if, even if he's not real? Yeah, why do you celebrate it then? I believe in Jesus. I don't. When we're Muslim, we call him, we call him something else. Or we, well, still, we still believe in him. Do you want to be that, Muslim? What's Jesus. Muslim? I've heard of it, but I forgot what it yeah. is. And it's Jesus. people that pray. Who is God? He's a man who lives in the sky and never die. In Islam, we call God Allah, so A-L-L-A-H. God is love. 
Do you think God is watching you? Oh, yeah. God and Santa Claus have special eyes. Is God watching you? Yes. And you too. God I'm is not real with us. You might just say God's not real. Oh, my gosh. Well, he's not. God's not yeah. real. God's that is not Jesus real. Is God. He's real. If people didn't believe in Jesus, they used to kill them. Cuba lives on a houseboat with his half-sister Mia, dad Baz, an ex-boxer, <laughs> and mum Heidi, an artist. Cuba's very alive. He's um, inquisitive. There's hawthorns, Cuba, look. It's sweet. Mm, I love that. He went to mainstream school for three months. It just wasn't suiting him at all. He, he couldn't sit down for that amount of time. He couldn't ask the questions he wanted to ask. Double it up. He was coming back really depressed and sad about it. We just made a decision to pull him out, didn't we, yeah, and, and homeschool him. Wilma threw a ball. He's autonomously home educated, which means he's allowed to follow what he's interested in. Let me do it myself. Go on, then you do it. Look at these. You're not stuck to a curriculum. The whole world is your classroom. He just goes off and bees who he is. Cuba's very much like that. He's, he flows. And I love that. OK, what do you want to be? Narrator, uh, please. OK? OK, go back. OK, does anyone help you as in signed in? In the classroom, the children are making requests for the parts they'd like to play. Cuba. And Shakir has taken charge of the boys. You can have narrator, you can have Joseph, you can have Mary. I'm going to be the one with the um, walking stick. So you want to be Joseph? Yeah, Joseph. Is there anything else you want to be? No. OK, go. OK, I'm ready for my next. Do you celebrate Christmas in your house? I am, I am Muslim, but we still celebrate it just for fun. Shakir lives in Ryslip with Mum Sonia, Dad Taki, and little sister Elena. I have got £5.22. I've actually got 71p. Shakir's got a zest for life. He's very passionate and he really throws himself into everything. He has a very nurturing side, but he also has a very dominant side. You do three, you do three, and I'll do three. Shakir likes to learn. Eight down. His way of having fun is actually quite in my view, quite a geeky way of having fun. He's like, can I do a workbook? Can I do some writing? Can I do some maths? And we're like, no, just be a child and, you know, play with your toys, play some Lego or something. He does have his religious upbringing. And I think he's got to that age where he's more aware. So he'll say, oh, so-and-so at school's a Hindu and so and so is a Jew. And I say to him, we don't need to look at people's religion or skin color or other things. We choose our friends based on who's a nice person. In the girls' room, things are slightly less organised. Can everybody just let me do mine first? Uh, you could, you could just actually wait. Oh! These people sound like they're from reception. We are not in reception. Uh, anyway, I was the first one there and then one of you pushed me. It was one of the new girls. We're not new. Yeah, you are no, new. You no. are. Do you mind? Yeah, do you mind? Anyway, you don't really act like you're six. Six-year-olds wouldn't push. They would just wait. <sighs> Which part would you like to be in the nativity? Mary. I would like to be Mary. 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 <laughs> Joseph. Why do you think you'd make a good Joseph? Because well, I've got long hair, and the boys in the other days have long hair. Before they audition, 
the children are learning more about the Christmas story. The first part I want to tell you about is actually a role for three people. The three, the three wise, wise men. men! The three wise men, they are yes. kings from the east. They're very proud people, <laughs> the three wise men. But Cuba doesn't seem too impressed. Cuba! All right, Cuba. Cuba. So, if you are going to play one of the three wise men... I know, you're ready to... No, no. No, so you need to step outside for a second. OK, I know that you'd like to move off from here. We're almost finished, but what you're doing is making this last longer. OK? These two people, they will have to carry... It's audition time, and despite his reservations, Cuba is keen to show off his skills. Cuba, can you please take the stage first? I want to be Joseph. I am going to sing Three Little Birds. Don't worry about a thing, there's every little thing going to be all right. So singing don't worry about a thing. This is my message to you. Oh, well done. Thank you very much. Elvin has chosen to dance to one of his favourite songs. You're up next, Luke. But Luke opts for something more traditional. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. After my God, I was so high. I'm not looking. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. I'm not clapping. All right. First up for the girls is Jessica. People waiting to audition, you need to be quiet, please. All right, when you're ready, Jessica. Last time they met, Jessica needed help from Jada to sing her song. Okay, sing with me. Donkey in a storm. I'm too shy. It's just us in it. here. I don't want to do it. How about you sit down and maybe you'll feel a bit better about it in a little bit, OK? Um. After 10 minutes, Jessica has plucked up the courage to get back on stage. When you're ready, Jessica. What now? And sleep he sang to me, in dreams he came. That voice which calls to me, and speaks my name. And do I dream again? For now I find the phantom of the emperor is there. Inside my mind. Thank you very much, Thank Jessica. You. Girls, you may follow Jada to find out what part that you've got. Careful, girls. Yeah. Oh. 
It's the day after the auditions. Jada, who's been given the role of narrator, is showing the girls what parts they'll play. I know. Jessica's Mary. Why do you think Mary's the best part? Because she's the main character and she gets to have a baby. And the um, keeper is Caitlin. Mary and Joseph, they come to me, let's have a hotel, and I say, there's no space here. <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> really, really excited. Who am I? Skyler. Skyler's wise man too. No. Number two. <laughs> I don't like the, f the three wise men because I want to be an angel. <laughs> Next, it's narrator Elvin's turn to reveal which parts the boys will play. Wise man one is Shakira. Okay. Angel Gabriel's going to be Christian. The donkey's going to be Cuba. Huh? I can say that. Oh, I want you to be Joseph. It's your first time. Why don't you just try it out? Christian, what do you think about playing Gabriel? I don't like it. He doesn't want to wear a dress. I don't want wings. You will be able to fly. No, I won't. Wings are magical. The wings are magical. Should the angel Gabriel be played by a girl or a boy? Both. Because we don't know if the angel Gabriel is a boy or a girl, and it doesn't really even matter. It's lunchtime, and Shakir and Cuba are getting to know each other. Really, if you saw my trunks, I would blow this whole house down. That's why I'm trying not to talk. What do you think makes a good friend? Makes a good friend? Mm -hmm. What do you think? So good. Saying nice things to them. Don't sit next to Cuba. Sit next to me. No, sit next to me. I'm your best friend. Here's your more best friend, Cuba. Cuba. What do you like about Cuba? Good at not behaving. Working his bum at the teacher. Eating his buggies. <laughs> I love you. Gigantic Christmas tree to hang there. Over in the art corner, the children are competing to see who can make the best Christmas bauble. My one is definitely not going to be the best one. I think I'm going to win, but um, I let everybody win because I'm actually used to believe in Jesus, so I know everything. Put your hand up if you have a girlfriend. Girls, I always think, here we go again, marriage comes. And you know, boys can marry each other and girls can marry each other. <laughs> Guys, you don't even know what's the secret about love. What is it? If you don't like your mum, yeah, being rude when you get older, you get to go with someone else and you, you can visit to your mum, but you will be living somewhere else. So that's the secret about love. That's not a secret. Everyone knows that. Yours is really good. Thank you. Look, you really like mine? Yes. Last 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, hands off the baubles. With their baubles complete, the children are voting for the best decoration. Jasmine. Shakir. Jada. Jada. So the winner is Jada. Yes. Well done, Jada. I'm not happy that I didn't win. I'm not happy. If I did not win, I don't even care. Anyway, you guys said no one voted for me. I'm not moaning. I won. Right, we're going to do the first bit of the play. I think it's going to be brilliant. Yeah, it is! 
Now the parts are allocated, the children are starting to improvise their lines. Don't be shocked, Mary. I am the angel Nigel. You're going to have a baby. Cuba, what do you think Mary might say to that? How am I going to have a baby without a husband? I think that's great. And then suddenly you've got a baby. You're pregnant, Mary! How did Mary have the baby? A men don't have a big enough hole in their wing cave, but um, w women do have a big enough hole, so the baby can climb out of the wing cave, but it's serious, serious pain. The star is going to come and sit in the middle of the stage. Is it a real star from the sky? No. Why would that be? If there was a real star here, it would you burn you all up. Why did the wise men follow the star? Because they didn't have a map. Donkey! Donkey! And you pull it. How do you think Mary felt when she was travelling all the way to Bethlehem? My kid. The performance is approaching, and the children are having one last singing practice. I've been practicing little jungle and I was singing it so well. I'm an artist at singing. All right, let's go. Who are artists? Artists paint. I know. Ready? Very nice. I'm great. Extreme <laughs> I think just for this one, again, we'll just have the words up. And remember, sing out and everyone have a nice smile on their face. Practice that. Away in the manger. Cuba. After 20 minutes, Cuba's concentration is beginning to wane. We're waiting for Cuba as well. Cuba. Cuba. New friend Shakia isn't impressed. OK, I'm not Cuba's friend. I've had enough of him now. Cuba, I'm not your friend anymore. I've had enough of it. OK, stand nice and still and let's go. Sometimes you won't listen to me. Like, it's not really good to have friends that don't behave. Because then you'll get in trouble if you join in what he's doing. a chance to do today is to write a letter to Santa Claus. Do it out. Have you ever seen Santa Claus? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. Um, only when I was um, a short girl. You like my fancy eh? But you're right-handed. Right oh, you're right-handed too. I can't do left-handed. Yeah, that's going to make it scribble. You're right-handed. No, I'm left. See, hey, look. Right-handed. I'm left. No. You're right. No, this is no, left. No, she's left. She's left-handed. Oh, my I goodness me, she's fantastic. Dear Santa, I would like a rainbow Xbox. I want it, please. <laughs> a pet chicken. I hope you have a nice day, Father Christmas. No, I just need a stamp. What presents will you leave out for Santa and the reindeer this year? Santa's so fat, so I would give him an apple. Milk for the reindeer. Wait, does reindeer like milk? With the performance a day away, some new faces have arrived to lend a helping hand. I can't wait for this. 
Because I know it's ready. Four-year-olds, Taylor, Theo and Tia. Taylor, listen up. This is the beginning of the show. You're the first people to come up on stage. <gasps> do, you know, do you know what the stage is going to look like? No. Behind you, there's going to be a big black cloth with <gasps> twinkle lights on it. Wow. OK? That's like when the Santa comes. Wow. <laughs> do you know what country Jesus was born in? Um, London, I guess, is London. Uh, in Manchester. Jesus land. Now you're going to come on from that door, so I want you to practice coming onto the stage. Right, let's go. go on, follow Tia and go and stand by the door. Okay, so Taylor, Taylor you're going to lead everyone on, okay? And remember, remember, you're coming on to sing Twinkle Twinkle. Come on! Wow. Well, yeah, come on! My father's can see the older people outside. Well, you can't because we have to practice our song. Let's we try wish it. You no, Twinkle Twinkle. As well as the four-year-olds, two five-year-olds have also returned. Hi! You're back, Emily! Help me! Oh, you're oh. Oh, Alfie! Oh, I'm so excited to see you again. Let's play bouncing on sofas. Yeah, I love that! Oh. Alfie and Emily, the final members of the cast, will be playing sheep. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so excited to see you too. You'll have these under your seats. They're your sheep. In the rehearsal room, shepherds Luke and Jasmine are working on their scene with Christian the angel. Come up and stand here. Perfect. And then Alfie and Emily are going to be playing your sheep. There's a new baby born. Gosh! Go and have a look. Wait. And then you say... Where are the sheep going? Let's follow them. Really good. We're going to try it all again with the sheep. I don't like everybody just looking at me. I hate that. Backstage, one of the sheep has cold feet. Oh, it's OK. It's nothing to worry about. It's just a kind of play. I don't like plays. I don't. Did you get to dress up as a sheep? I'm not really keen on dressing up anymore. But I still want you to do it, cos then I'll be sad that you're not there doing it. Everyone will see me and I get nervous, really nervous. While shepherds wash their socks by night... Alfie and Emily are due in the rehearsal room in five minutes. Are you OK? <laughs> it's all right. It's just a play, that's all. Oh, I'm very shy. And sometimes I just do weird things that I'm not but, supposed to But do. you'll be with me. You're my best friend. <laughs> and when I do weird things, it gets all messed up and then ruined. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. Let's just keep making that garden, then. OK. And try to wipe the tears out while you're doing it. She was upset about going on the stage and people watching her. And I tried to keep her safe. Hey, guys, so look, this is Alfie and this is Emily. And you're going to start from over here, Alfie. Uh. Emily is still too shy to join Alfie on stage, but she has agreed to sit and watch. Good when is Emily going to do it? Emily's just not doing it. She's just a bit shy. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. OK, listen, Emily's not going to do it for now. And then it's good. It's the day before the show, and the children have all brought in mystery presents for each other. Cuba, you can choose yours. I want to have the big present. What do you do when you get a present you don't like? I have this little box on my bed, and it's full of all the presents that I don't like, and I just put them in there. Um, put it somewhere and don't play with it forever. Give it to my sister. We both got magic. Oh, that is a lot of Play-Doh. 
Who do you think brought that one for the box? Skylar. Yeah! Shakia hasn't spoken to Cuba since their fallout in singing practice. Shakia, it's your turn. Happy come. Cuba's hoping that Shakir chooses the present that he brought in. Heavy. I think That's I know my it. present, Shakir. It looks like a book. It is. Yeah. It's a poem book. A poem book? Oh, it's heavy. Who do you think brought that present along? Cuba? Yes. Some of them are a bit long. Yeah. But some of them are not long. We do this. Jerry Hall heals us more. A rat could eat them, hat and all. What's the end of Jerry Hall? That was it. In the hall, final rehearsals for the performance are underway. So Joseph and Mary, go and stand by Kate, please. Lovely. How are you feeling about the final performance? I'm feeling a bit nervous. Don't be shocked, Mary. But you must call your baby, um... Um, OK, don't worry. Everyone doesn't know their lines and they're trying to practice them. What am I going to... Oh, what am I meant to say? I don't know my words. <laughs> Angel said that I'm going to have a baby and I should name it Jesus and, it, it, and it's God's baby. Wow. <laughs> no! No! Do you know all your lines? <laughs> I only have one line. <laughs> That's rubbish. OK. Is it scary going out on stage in front of all those people? No. <laughs> now there'll be a short break while we change the scenery. Is the show Where tomorrow? Are the, the show is tomorrow. Where are the audience? The audience are going to be all here. The day of the nativity has finally arrived. The children's family and friends will be watching a one-off performance of an original script written by 12 six-year-olds. Behind the scenes, the cast are making their final preparations. Then you go to the side of the stage and you put the baby up. <laughs> it's narrator Elvin's role to kick off the show. Jada, you have your book. But there's some trouble behind the scenes. Hi, give my friends. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Let go, both of you. Let go, let go, let go. Cuba, let go. Let's go. Welcome to our Nativity Play. My name's Elvin. Today we're celebrating how Jesus was born. This is our version of what happened on the first Christmas day. Angels, quick, quick, quick. Well done, stop. Star, how I wonder 
Mary, but when you have a baby, um, you must call it Jesus, and it is God's son. How am I going to have a baby without a husband? You must marry Joseph quick. Backstage, the donkey is keen to get to work. <laughs> Fine, thank you. I saw an angel come and he said that I'm going to be pregnant. What? You're pregnant! It's God's baby. You're not the dad. Shall I be... <laughs> <laughs> Shall I be the stepdad instead? Yeah. <laughs> My turn. Shh, wait, wait, wait. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Donkey! Donkey! While Mary and Joseph wait for news, the donkey offers some words of encouragement. Don't worry about a thing, cos every little thing gonna be all right. Just sing it. No, wait. Um, woke up this morning, see the rising sun, three little birds beside my doorstep singing sweet song. Wait. What was that? What was that, Mummy? Pitched by my doorstep, saying sweet songs of Mendy's pure and good. Singing, this is my message to you. Oh, food. I found the stables. Take it or leave it. We'll take it. Yay. It's the end of Act One. And the narrator's last job is to announce the interval. In the stable, there was a donkey, some chicken, a rooster, a lamb, a horse, and a monkey. Now there will be a short break while we change the scenery. What's the matter? I don't want to do it. Alvin, you're doing a brilliant job. I don't want to do it. Really? You don't have to do it if you don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Alvin, look at me. You don't have to do it. But if you come and watch the show, and then we, at least we can watch the show together. Come on, then. Good boy. I'll just do it. 
Yeah. 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 It's all right. Can you sit here? Can you sit over here? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That night, Mary's baby was born in the stable. the scenes, Emily is still nervous about getting on stage. She hasn't managed it all week. <laughs> Emily, stand up. Alfie, oh, stand up. I can hear clappies. That means you guys will be going on soon. And the angel told the shepherds and their sheep to come. <laughs> <laughs> While shepherds wash their socks by night, all seated round the tub, the angel of the Lord came down and gave their socks a scrub. The shepherds put them on again and walked to Bethlehem. Good. Don't be shy. Oh my goodness, Alfie. Alfie! There was a star outside where the people followed and they were the three wise men. They decided to follow the star because they didn't have a map. came to see the baby and a penguin came too. He brought maracas. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us to sing We Wish You a Merry Christmas.
Well done. I'd say a big thank you as well to one very, very brave person, Elvin, for getting up and doing that. That deserves the biggest coin we could find. So well done. Give them a big round of applause. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Good boy, Elvin. That was amazing. Well done. You did so well. I'm so proud of you. Yummy. How did the nativity story end? They live happily ever after. The end. <laughs> <laughs>